It's been a long time coming. But no. I call him a hern. And with me at this time, Adam Cook can announce through the harmonics <laughs> that Rock Band 4 is coming. Yeah. Rock Band 4 is a thing. But before we get into it, actually, just to check, because obviously this is like a Geek Speak type situation and um, people can watch this with some footage, which actually the footage isn't of Rock Band 4 because there is no footage of Rock Band 4 yet. Um, or they can listen to it as a podcast so they can search Geek Speak, God is a Geek on iTunes. However, can I just be sure straight away that you are going to mute the video? So obviously, because we don't get this kind of... Ex- well, it's not an exclusive, but we don't get this kind of access often. So, I, you know, we want to make loads of money off this. Obviously, that's, you know... Um, Without question, yeah. We, uh, I, what, what the person who is viewing <laughs> this video, they are seeing Rock Band Three footage, and yeah, it will be muted because we are going to make a shitload of money off of this. Yeah, you, you can't even imagine. How but Colin, much. no one wants to talk. To, no one wants to hear about your maths because Rock Band people are watching this. Rock Band Four has just been announced, and I've spoken to Nick Chester at Harmonics a little while ago now. Like just. <laughs> Do you know, uh, you know, we've been doing this for quite some time. Like I've been writing about games for, I think, over five years at this point, and like I've never really found it very difficult to adhere to NDAs and embargoes. It's really simple. Like it's part of the job. You just, you just get on with it. You know, you just, you just do your work based on what you've been given. Occasionally, an embargo or an NDA is there, and I am antsy about it, and and because. It genuinely excites me. Like also, this is a bit different to the sort of thing we normally do because you know we often we you know we're well known I think for being a, ga- a site game site that reviews shitloads of games, and we you know we do interview people and we go to events and we we started doing interviews on video and stuff. But this I fe- I came away from this feeling like a proper journalist for the first time in about four years. I, I, it I was, it I was, is good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, good. I was, yeah, no, it's good that I finally became you know what I could finally be. because I've been at it a while. You have. Yeah, you've been a proper journo for fucking a while now, but I, I have, I've done jack shit, and, and talking to Nick, um, I came away buzzing because it felt like I'd done some proper journalism, because yeah, he told me um, that Rock Band 4 is coming this year. This to, year? To Xbox, yep, to Xbox One and PS4. Now, yeah. being someone who loves their PC games, Cullum, I'm going to straight away tell you that they're not ruling out the PC. Thank God. Just like just like they're not ruling out the Wii U, but as oh. it stands... Well, well, let me hang on, let me finish. But as it stands, there are no plans to do either PC, Wii U, but basically as it stands, the plans are Xbox One and PS4. That That's the plan. Nothing more, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. Nothing's impossible at this stage. So is that actually confirmed that we will have a new rock band in this calendar year? They told me that they are aiming to have the game out this year. Now, if rumours to be believed, um, Guitar Hero is coming this year as well. Well, they just said this year. So, but the rumours suggest that Guitar Hero is coming this year again, which does, I think, mean we could, we could be in that situation again where these two games are going up against one another. But this is Rock Band 4. Yes, yes, it is. So, I suppose, tell me, are they going back to basics with this? Yeah. It, 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 well, the, I, I spoke to them for about an hour and a half. Um, very nice chaps. Uh, the, the ethos, the idea, seems to very much be this is a new game but it is very much back to basics and the real core principle the belief here is this is for the fans and and i believe them you know as i say i spoke to nick for over an hour and a half near actually and I, i believe him when he tells me this is they are making this for the fans um in so much as, for example, Legacy DLC. Now, as as you know, like with with the games as they you know progressed, certain songs fell away in terms of the Legacy DLC. Um, but they aim to have over two thousand songs playable from the previous DLC. There's there's going to be occasional ones missing, and they aren't going to be all of them available at launch purely because, as he told me, it's not just a massive effort for them. It's also you look at how DLC and content is promoted or produced for PlayStation Network, for Xbox Live, you don't ever really see that kind of thing, like Sony pushing 2,000 pieces of DLC for a launch of a game. It's it's, it's unprecedented, basically. that That is a new thing. So while they are pretty confident they will have a large portion of them, it won't be all of them at first. But, but uh, are they... They are going to try and make all of them available. They yeah? they want to make every track, I think, available that they can. I mean, then that means if there's tracks with licenses that are lapsed or ones they just can't 
legally used, they're not going to be able to change that. But the idea is to have, there's, I think there's 2,500 or something songs in total, and they want over 2,000 of them in Rock Band 4 as DLC. And if you bought it on Xbox 360, it will be a downloadable on Xbox One. If you bought it on PS3, it'll be downloadable on PS4. Uh, if you exported Green Day Rock Band, if you exported uh, Rock Band 2, the um, Lego Rock Band, if you exported those, they are also going to be available in your game. Which does, which does, for the record, mean I am going to have to play it on Xbox One because I bought DLC and exported a lot of games on Xbox 360. So, what about the 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 pro guitar and the instruments that work on a more like gone. real instruments? All gone. Oh, well, the pro drums um, will be there just by the fact of it's kind of built into the system. But the pro guitar gone, keyboards gone. This is. Keyboards gone. Forget about keyboards. Completely gone. What about the tracks with keyboards? Gone. They were, really? Well, well I, I presume if they're in the game, they'll be playable. They just won't have keyboard. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the okay, keyboard yeah. lane because it, there's no keyboard support for this game with the instruments. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I found it really interesting, and um, because the one thing I was we we've you know we've talked about this before, and I, I knowing that we were going to be talking to them, you know, you you suggested the idea that it would be like a SingStar style. Yeah. Well, I, I thought that. If there was going to be a rock band on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, it was going to take that type of route mm. where it would be more of a, a service. As I such. mean, everyone does it now. Like Dead or Alive does it. And I, I actually mentioned that to them. I was saying, like, Dead or Alive have done it with Last Round on PS4. Um, and, you know, the SingStar thing, I don't know if that's successful. And in fact, Harmonix did it with um, one of the Dance Central games. I think it was Spotlight on Xbox One. They, they did that. Um, which I didn't know because I haven't played it um, because I've never... I, oh, I can appreciate Dance Central, but it's never been my... I've, I've been a rock band guy, guitar hero guy. I like the, the music games. Um, it's, again, not something they are completely saying, we'll never do it, we're ruling it out. But at the moment, they don't plan to. At the moment, the idea very much is to make it a retail proposition where you can go and buy this game on a disc in a shop and to get it in, in people's minds again. It's been five years. Um, they need to, they, they They want to get this into people's heads like... Rock band's back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. And so, with that, in, are, go on. Are, are, how about the old yeah. instruments? Are, are they? Are they going to? Is there going to be some sort of backwards compatibility, basically, where you will be able to play with your old instruments right. as well as new? There ones? There will be new instruments because this game is part published by Mad Cats, who are making all new instruments that, to the naked eye, will look um, pretty much the same but they have got new bits inside them like in rock band there was always a problem with the star power um so they are i think he said again i i haven't written this down because i obviously recorded our conversation for the interview feature so go read that but i think it was accelerometers or gyroscopes whichever one they did use they're using the other one now basically um to make that more reliable now the old instruments they they want them to work they literally have a team of people at harmonics trying to make that work talking to sony talking to microsoft because there is no again no precedent for old hardware working on the new hardware like that you know fight sticks like mad cats fight sticks they had to make all new ones for this generation because you can't just plug them in there's no precedent whether that ends up being just like a usb device you can plug in somehow they don't know yet they are really really committing they want that to be a thing if it can be a thing again they aren't here to try and say like, oh, new new rock band, loads of new instruments, we want all your money again. The idea is to get all rock band fans playing however they choose. If you want to use your old instruments and grab all your DLC and just be playing that on your PS4, then that's a, that's what they want that to be viable. At the moment, they're working with Sony, they're talking to their first, you know, and, and much so they're talking to the first party publishers. They can't guarantee it, but from what he Nick told me, they're they're quietly confident. They they hope they can make it work. Like, um, I, I suppose at the same time as well as wanting old instruments to work, which is, is fair, there is probably a lot of people with old instruments that are a bit a bit knackered, like my drum kit, the snare is a bit shaggy. Yeah, and, and that's something he said. He said that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people still play this game. You know, they have numbers in the back end that prove that a lot of people play this game. But a lot of people have gear. I mean, my gear's in the loft. Now, will it work? I don't know. Need to get it out and I want to play a bit. He's not saying people either don't want people to use their old hardware, but a lot of it's like a bit battered, a bit beaten, a bit broken, and it, they feel like the time is right for Rock Band 4 as a refresh. The new hardware's there if you want it. There will be some custom faceplates and stuff for the guitars if you pre-order with certain retailers. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it, I don't know what else do you want to know, really. I mean, I, I spoke to them for quite a lot, a long time about a lot of stuff. I mean, like, back in the heyday, um, there was, like, 300-plus employees at Harmonix. They're, they're less than half that now, he says. They really have streamlined their development process, their team. Um, you know, but there's a team at Harmonix that are just doing DLC, like, just getting that DLC onto this new Rock Band 4 platform. They're keen that it is... D- it's Rock Band 4, they're keen that you think of it as a platform, they're keen that you, you, this is an open dialogue, you know, they want to be in a situation where you can say, oh I'd love this in Rock Band 4, and they can put it into Rock Band 4 if they think it's a good idea and the fans want it. It's interesting that you use the word platform, because as I made reference to earlier about SingStar, I thought the Rock Band would go that route, so I find it surprising that they've called it Rock Band 4 as opposed to just but, Rock but, Band. But the reason for that is because they're calling it a platform because Nick told me that basically this is their game for this generation. Really? They, yeah, they, there isn't going to be a Rock Band 5 afterwards, there isn't going to be a 5, 6, you know, you think about the Xbox 360, that had Rock Band, Rock Band 2, 3, Beatles, Green Day, Lego Rock Band, and I'm probably forgetting a few as well. That's just the, that was just on 360, that generation. This is their game for for this generation, this is Rock Band 4, they want to be able to iterate upon it within that software. Like they don't want to release. You know, they, 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 I was I was conscious of asking them about, look, it was a massive hot streak for both Activision and for Harmonix. Like they, that, that, that mine was mined pretty, pretty dry. Um, they don't sound as though they expect anywhere near that level of success again. Um, this is for the fans. It's realistic. They, they, you know, they told me that we're not going to be flooding shops with boxes and boxes of instruments. That's just we're not going to do that again. You know, that it's basically the idea, and and you should be able to pre-order at the time you, if you can watch this, the pre-order should be up. But the the idea is that you 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 pre-order it, and it gives them some idea of how many much hardware they need to make. You know, they don't want to be flooding the market with unused hardware. You know, Mad Cats make sense of them as well. They they did the pro instruments and stuff. And Mad Cats have come on a long way. Mad Cats make really good stuff now. Like, when I was a kid growing up, Mad Cats were mm, not known for the best quality stuff. Like, I've reviewed a shitload of Mad Cats stuff now from headsets to to game, you know, to pro controllers, uh, which I still use on my PC, to uh, fight sticks and, and some guitar stuff too. They they make really good stuff now. So they that makes great sense. Um, so it it's in development and it's supposedly well it's scheduled for release later this year we don't have any kind of concrete time as of yet but there is no gameplay or anything yeah, i mean like there's that. nothing there's nothing they can show us that's playable yet they will they are aiming to have that sort of stuff you know as time progresses um nick keeps his ketchup in the fridge which i thought was a really important factor in the development of rock band 4 mm. Maybe I'll skip this rock yeah, band. Yeah, I mean, so... you know, we don't really want the likes of you playing it anyway. Let's be honest, um, mm-hmm. you, with your warm ketchup, room temperature, warm. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I'll be honest. I can't. Wrong. Yeah, no, shit. I've just done that thing that I really hate people doing. Yeah, no, but yeah, no. Anyway, fuck that. Uh, listen, I came away um, both excited because I do agree with him that it's time. It, it, it enough time has passed. I feel that I'm ready. I'm really ready for some more rock band. And he said all the right things. The only concern is the instruments. I'd quite like to be able to use my old instruments because I'm pretty sure they'll work. And I reckon there's a large portion of their audience that will, would like the option to upgrade or buy new stuff, but not have to. Well, the way I see it is that if I was to buy Rock Band 4 on the disc with maybe a drum kit yeah. and a guitar or something like that, like my guitar from the old rock band games work so use that as a base but look, I, get, I get the feeling that there are other sites that are going to run with headlines that rock band 4 is coming and you may not be able to use your old gear and it to me that's not the headline because it's it's a false headline if if you know maybe they won't run with that but but it feels a false headline to me because i don't think that's fair because is anyone having a go at, at, at capcom saying oh street fighter 5 great but we won't really use our old fight sticks at some point, you do have to have a breakaway and say, right, we are in a new generation of consoles. These have been out for sort of, what is it, 12, 16 months now? Like, these are our new consoles. This is a new game. And I think the fact they're trying to make them work is, I don't want to say admirable, because, you know, they probably should. But but at the same time, should they? I don't know. I, I think they probably should, just because of the amount of DLC that people asked. And as they say, their figures prove people are still playing it. I don't know. 
I'm, I'm also quite happy that they're moving away from the pro stuff because Rocksmith does that, but to me, Rocksmith is... Rocksmith is an educational not, tool rather than a game, it's, an, it's not really a, I mean, it is a game, by definition. It's a it's a game. I'm looking at it on my shelf. It is yeah, a PlayStation 4. But, I know, but I'm but with it, you. It's, 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 it's not a... It's it's a, it's not a game. It's something I. It's a learning you know, tool. Give to my kids and say, look, you want to learn guitar? Have a go at this. See how you get on. Exactly. Rock yeah. band is a game, and as I play guitar, you play guitar. Um, I've played guitar for a very long time, but I would actually rather play rock band than rock smith. And then if I fancy it, to pick up my own guitar and play it. Do you know what I mean? I, I I'm not fussed about the pro stuff. And as they said with the keyboards, like they really like the keyboards and stuff, but the data just proves people weren't playing it. You know, and they, although there were, you know, some people are playing it, not enough. You know, the, not the core rock band thing. They want to get back to having you and your friends playing in the living room, because to be honest with you, and I have to agree with him, I actually said to him during during the discussion, like the only thing, I only true party games I ever really remember are Rock Band and Jackbox, and Rock Band is just not on the list anymore. So like, this is kind of cool. I'm I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I agree with you. I think there's been enough time between Rock Band three and now Rock Band four that yeah. I'm looking forward to some good old fashioned old school Rock Band. And 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 click that click that annotation that says read the interview. Click that and go and read it because there's it's a lot of words there. Do please, Adam worked very very hard mm-hmm. on that. It was his first journalistic piece. God love him. It is about time. Uh, so yeah, so click on the likes and the subscribes and all that stuff, and we'll make loads of money. Uh, wouldn't that be funny? No, it'd be great. Wouldn't really, would it? Yeah, it'd be fantastic. <laughs> be I want money. I want loads of money. But that's it. Rock Band Four is announced. Hooray! <laughs>